All right, so I'm heading off to Phuket. Uh, I've been invited on a podcast there, and I'm also going to be saying goodbye to an old friend uh, before she's off to Malaysia. So it's going to be a hell of a trip. Got to go on the VIP bus on the plane, and you're coming, yeah? Let's go, let's go. Let's go, okay. She wants to come, she can come, but you don't want to come, do you? <laughs> but we are planning that family holiday when I come back. We're going to go to... Gotcha. Gotcha. But now Hugo is four months. Hi. And you want him to be, before he travels... <laughs> how old do you want him to be? Hmm? You say you want him to be six months. Six months. How come? Hmm. Six months. Yeah, six months. Easy boy. Yeah, I think Tiss was six months, wasn't he, when he did big travel with us? Big travel. Yeah. Let's have a look. That's looking cool, Tiss. Looking cool. Are you gonna miss your daddy? Yeah, but. Come give hug first then. Yeah, that looks really cool, Tiss. Right. See you later then. See you later, bye. Bye. <laughs> See you, Daddy. Set travel. Alright, guys, so as I promised, I'm going to be doing a daily diary. And I'm at the bus station. I'm off to Phuket. So, first, I'm going to be staying one night in Bangkok. And then I'm going to be heading over to flying down to Phuket to be on a podcast there. And then I'll go and see my friend in PP. So, we this is the bus station. It's a VIP bus that Damo booked for me. So I don't think I've been on this one before, but it's boiling hot, guys. You know, it's that kind of heat where the heat hits the the ground and you can feel it through your sandals. This is this is how hot it is. Here's the bus station here, and I've just ordered a cha num yin. Cha is tea, num is milk. Thank you. Num is milk and yin is cold. So yin is cold. Cha num yin, tea, milk, cold a cold milk tea people say that they like it when I put a bit of Thai in here and tell you what it means and stuff so that's what I'm gonna do uh, it won't be like that on all of the vlog I don't want it to seem like it's a teaching lesson but over there's the hospital where Hugo was born and they got a little bakery here little fish A little bakery, some tarts, looking good. So this is part one of, of the entry. This is where I get the bus and I want to show you on the bus as well some of the cool little features that it has. Because I'm told it's a I, I'm told it's not the top of class bus, not the top of the range, but it's uh, a, a nice bus all the same. I've also been told the camera quality is very good on this one. It's got uh, the stabilizer, the gimbal, and a uh, microphone. I'm using the DJI Pocket 2. People asked in the last vlog about the night market. I don't know what the microphone's called, but I will find out. People did want to know my equipment. So, part one, here we are. And I think here is the bus. Also, I've got to make sure I got everything on me. You know, when you live on the farm, you just don't. You don't think about what's in your pockets and whatnot. So I don't want to lose anything. I'm just gonna check uh, in here. I think does she have a ticket? I long die low, you can tame now. Right, so I said can I can long die my long means get on board, can I? Hello. Hi. Let's get on board. like I'm all the way down here. I'm carrying drones and equipment guys. Okay, so here's the seat. Thank you. So as you can see guys, the seats recline, you have reclining seats and you have a screen in front, it's got movies and radio and stuff like that and then I believe these are the massage chairs as well so there's a little button that starts a massage in your back 
this looks like a slightly older bus but it's only a four or five hour journey which is not a long time on the bus on my way back I'm going to be taking a 14 hour bus so much longer just see if I can show you the control panel here so here's here's a little control panel and when I press that then it started a massage feature in my back oh no this for call me. Oh, for call. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back up. And, and then this color clean for massage. For massage. Yes. This? For light. For light, yes. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back up. So I've just been, I've only just got on here and I'm calling for assistance. So, but you can get away with stuff like this because you're the farang. So it's just the farang. You don't know what the hell's going on. Always play stupid guys, never try and be the smart Farang, just be the stupid Farang. And uh, they will help you in every everything that you do when you travel. Thai people are wonderful. They will do anything to help you. Thank you. Koko Makap. spacious, comfortable. Um, this massage is very nice. It's like six little balls rolling around in your back. So although if you do it too much you'll get a stiff back. So be careful. They're giving out food now and I never eat what they give because it's always got sugar in it. So I never have it. About 500 baht, under 500 baht, and they give you some food, and as you saw, some water and a snack. So not bad really, 500 baht. It's an air-conditioned bus, and it has a toilet on board just here. So if you need the toilet you're there, it's good to sit at the back because you've got good access. This is just better than travelling to the airport which would be like two hours away for me anyway. So I'd have to travel two hours to get on the plane, check in early then fly to Bangkok. It's better for me to just take a bus to Bangkok and then a plane down south to Phuket. Okay so we've arrived and I can't tell you how tricky it is to both film and like live your life at the same time like do a real living diary you forget stuff and <laughs> gotta get with it get with the program very comfortable drive didn't even feel it was six hours uh, 12 pounds 15 dollars 500 baht and finally we arrived very comfortable and can't recommend the VIP bus enough to be honest people just getting their stuff here I carry I pack light so I just got a backpack and uh, no luggage that's the way I like it when I go on these trips like this just a backpack um, I do have my drone with me so that's a little bit something extra so actually guys I don't watch many Thailand vloggers so I mean I don't watch hardly any I think there's just one Thailand YouTube vlogger um, so I don't know how much you often see of this stuff, like the inner workings of Bangkok. I'm sure so many vloggers must be covering stuff like this and doing walk-arounds. Um, so uh, excuse me if it's something like you've, you've seen before, but I'm just a walking camera at the moment. This is the busy bus station, it's very well organised, it's very cheap, and it's the way many Thais will travel, rather than getting on a flight and paying an expensive flight. Uh, I've always found it, always on time very convenient uh, you can get anywhere you want by bus and the buses are always very clean with nice staff and great food if you're traveling Thailand I can't recommend enough taking these VIP buses and there are different levels too so there's like really really high so ones but you've got to book them well in advance they're like very fancy chairs and um, really nice but uh, I have to kind of hail a taxi now I'm not sure I think this may be the 
the queue here yeah it is so I'll get in the taxi line which is all the way back here <laughs> so this is very much how Thai people travel and if you've never traveled to Thailand before you're a newbie it's a, a good thing a good way to consider to get around especially if you're on a budget if you if you're stuck for time of course it's not convenient because you've got a well it's to get from one place to another can take six hours like now from Buriram to Bangkok's been six hours but if you're going all the way down to Phuket for example it'd be like 14 16 hours so if you are stuck for time you're not doing a big trip obviously you wouldn't do this but if you are not stuck for time and time's not an issue money's the issue then travel by bus so we're in the taxi guys we have arrived super fast no seat belt as it always is in Bangkok everything's a hundred miles an hour here big contrast to the rural um, the rural situation everything's a bit slower you know so to make conversation when you arrive in Thailand if you're in the taxi you could say to somebody Majak Jangwat Arai so like P Majak Jangwat Arai Kap Kap Kuntirba so it's like a Bangkok, you say Grunthib is Bangkok. Ma Jack come from Ma Jack Jangwat province. Ma Jack Jangwat Arai Wat. So it's come from province Wat. That's the sentence arrangement. You can ask the driver that to make some friendly conversation. And then you will know the province because they all sound the same. Buriram, Samut Songkran, Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai. Uh, in the case of Bangkok, they just say grunt here, and uh, that's it. A nice way to start conversation if you're in the taxi from arriving at the airport. Okay, so the taxi's gone there, and we've arrived. I'm not sure if I did say in my last sentence. So if you're going to ask ma jang watarai cap, ma jak jang watarai cap, or you've got to put cap on the end. Cap just makes everything polite. Cap chu arai cap. Name what polite. Chu arai, chu name, arai, what, what name, name what. Um, and so we've arrived now. He was driving too fast there as well, and so I asked him to slow down. You would have seen that on the camera. I said, cha cha noi, dai mai kap. Now there's probably a better way to say it in Thai too, but cha cha means slow. Noi is like a, it's a little bit slower, like it's a softener. It's a sl slow, slow noi. And Daimai, can you can you move a bit slower? And he agreed. He's like, yeah, yeah, fine. Sometimes I'll even tip them 100 baht if they just slow the hell down because they're rushing to get onto the next job. And I don't want to die in a horrific car crash. There's no seat belts in that car. Um, so I'd rather just pay 100 baht and just be like, chill out, dude. Like, here's 100 baht so we don't have to. So you don't have to rush. You, know, you get a nice, nice little tip. So I'm going to check into my place now. It's an absolute dump uh, because you guys have seen in a recent vlog um, that my, our cost of living in rural Thailand, you know, it's not like we're cheap Charlies or anything like that. But I don't want to spend like loads of money in a hotel that I'm just going to stay one night. Some people have criticized me before, like, oh, this cheap Charlie sleeps in his car and he stays in shit hotels and stuff. No, if I'm with family, I'll stay in great hotels. But when I'm on my own, what the hell do I care? Like, I'm going to spend 1500 on the hotel. That's like... Uh, dog. Hey! See, dog attacking. Hey! Nasty, horrible dog. Oh. Cap. <laughs> Being attacked by dogs. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Shit. Every time when I'm on camera too. Uh, so, yeah. I, stay, I prefer to stay somewhere cheap. Cheap and, and cheerful and 1,500 baht, that's, that's stuff that can go on my kids, stuff that can go on, on demo. You know, I just need a simple bed. So I'm going to go and check in. 
And where am I checking in? Right next to Savannah Pool Airport. It's best bed. So the best bed. It's about 450, 500 baht a night. So it's not like the cheapest of the cheap. If you get a dorm, it's like 160, 200 baht a night. But you're staying in a dorm with other people. So this is it, best bed. Let's go and check it out. It's a private room. Sorry, cab. All right, so video calls and loud conversation are disallowed. And Germany is not allowed in the area. It's 2000 baht fine. So we're gonna go and check out a room. I've never seen it before, other than obviously online. And uh, this really is a diary, guys. Attacked by dogs. This is what I mean, like traveling in Thailand, even doing these mundane things is never boring. There's always some chaos happening. That dog scared the shit out of me, it was growling. And uh, I took stick last time off everybody. But I couldn't control it, so let's see. There you go, guys. And there's enough space for three of us. So if I meet two friends around that they've got a place to stay, uh, no, I've just got just got the one bed. Clean, comfortable, you know, rather quiet, and we've got a balcony. Looking over there, the airport is behind. Nothing wrong with this. Perfectly reasonable for 500 something baht. And they do a shuttle. They do a shuttle to the airport for 120, which I'll get on at 8 o'clock tomorrow to fly to Phuket. So nothing special tonight, guys. I'm just grabbing a bite to eat. I think probably just from this store here. See what they've got. Maybe looks like they got something like cow mudang or they have duck which is pit so what do you have me me common guy man me or i have cow cow mudang right i have our cow mudang one time right come on come on right our two tea can i have one tea can i have come on right So I'll make an exception for eating pork when I'm when I'm away because I can't bother going and looking around everywhere for for chicken, you know. So I just I make an exception. I got one for now and one for home, and depending on how good it is, I may have another one for home. So these are just like my diary. It's like my diary, guys. This on Naked Guru. I feel like there's a good percentage of my audience that are really not that interested in what I have to say they're more interested in I don't think they're against what I have to say but I just don't think they find that that interesting or my life I think they're more looking for a window to Thailand uh, they're either outside of Thailand missing Thailand um, they want to see they want to reminisce perhaps or they want to see what it's like just the day-to-day -day life there's no music in the background of this there's no flashy editing. There's no, you know, scene movements or, or anything. It is just a, a diary, and we are in Thailand with Thai people doing the things that you do in Thailand, which are often not always like climbing a mountain or you know, jumping out of a plane. It's day-to-day -day business. It's just day-to-day. -day. It's getting on the bus. It's getting some nice, nice food here. Back to my car. <laughs> And so we got the Kamudeng, which I, I forgot also is really, really sweet. So I have to be careful. But um, this is it, Kamudeng, 30 bar, cheap, cheerful, cheap room. And so you've seen now the same bye to Damo, the bus arriving in Bangkok. You've seen the taxi, you've seen where I'm staying. That's it for this Bangkok vlog. And the next one you're going to see is I'm arriving in Phuket. It's super busy what I've got going on down there. But I will do my diary from, from Phuket, getting down there, 
and uh, I just jump on when something interesting is happening and then I'm off to PP then so thanks for watching and um, thanks for liking and uh, the content and I hope you, you get something out of it cheers